Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia with Very Cherry Cakes and in the past we have discussed pricing and knowing your value and how I started my business. So today I figured that we would actually walk through an actual conversation that I had with a client and we'll read the conversation, we'll analyze it, and then at the end we'll see what I would change or what I did wrong in my first cake sale. Let's get right into the video. I'm a little bit nervous because I it like it's a little cringy to look back at the things that you used to say or do so okay so some of the messages are in Spanish I think half of the conversation is in Spanish but I'm gonna go ahead and translate it for you uh, I'm not gonna give her a name because I don't know what name to give her I'm just gonna call her blank okay so it says hi how are you I'm friends with your cousin I wanted to see if you could give me pricing on something that looks like this the cake would be a whole sheet and for some reason Facebook isn't downloading my photo but it was a Disney Minnie Mouse cake um, so then we're scrolling down and I respond I'm the blue so I say hey, hi blank um, a cake this size which would be the whole sheet plus a smash cake would be a hundred dollars when do you need it because I'm going out for vacation December 22nd through January 3rd okay so first of all now looking back um, at the time I didn't even have the equipment to be making a whole sheet I didn't have packaging for a whole sheet so I didn't have actual like cake boards that size or boxes that size so that's red flag number one um, and I actually had to go on BRP boxshop.com and order like a sample size so I could fit this order so I wasn't even like mentally or physically ready to make this order and then she says let's continue so she says it's for the 12th of this month and the sheet would be double of this photo and then I reply oh I won't be available that weekend sad face okay that's like i think like that's one of my main things when i first started is i wasn't taking my job or like this job it's not that i wasn't taking it seriously but i didn't i didn't think that i was as professional as i was i don't know if that makes sense so like i should have given myself um like a line in between like using emojis and being f too friendly to my clients i think that was weird i don't even know how to explain it that was just weird um, and then she says, so you're not even available for the smash cake? And I said, um, let me send you a message uh, when I get home because I'm at work. Uh, maybe I can do it, but let me just get back to you as soon as I get home. Um, as a side note, if anybody's watching that used to work with me when I had this job back in 2015, I was hustling my day job. Like I was hustling those phones. Like I was answering those phones. I was putting patients back into the rooms like I was doing the things I was supposed to be doing okay so I was doing my full-time job and then this was like a side business so then she says okay thanks uh the smash cake is really what interests me the other cake I can just get it at Sam's okay so I get home that night and I don't know if anybody's paying attention to the date, but she needs this cake for December the 12th and it's December 4th. Okay. And then I say, hey, I'm out of work. Yes, I can make you the cake, um, the whole sheet and the smash cake. And then I start listing like pricing and I say $150 is the price, including my mash, my, the smash cake. Um, the whole sheet, which is an 18 by 24, equals approximately 48 to 108 slices of cake, depending on the size that you cut it. Which I, I think technically that's right, because there's uh, party sizes and wedding sizes. Um, but to a client, that, kind, that probably seems a little crazy, because I didn't even explain to her like the cutting size portions i just say between 48 and 108 and somebody that's reading that is like what like how can a cake be 48 to 108 slices i don't know i think that's just weird i should have explained more um and then i say the the picture that you sent me um is a half sheet i hadn't noticed and then like a happy face what what is that and then smash cakes 
six inch round. And then I list the flavors, which are chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, lemon, cinnamon, and chocolate Oreo. Granted, at this time, I hadn't tested any of those recipes. Like, I hadn't tested like if the cinnamon cake was gonna be dry because of the cinnamon, if the lemon cake was gonna be moist or dense or whatever. I, I literally just like pulled flavors out of my head because it was my first paid order and I listed them. Um, so that's another strike, which is like, if you're gonna offer flavors, make sure that you've tested that recipe. Um, the next thing down below that is, it says relleno, which is filling, strawberry mousse, chocolate mousse, strawberry jam, and then like a little asterisk, peach and pineapple, which I think that means that I could also offer peach or pineapple jam. Uh, buttercream, lemon buttercream and cinnamon swirl buttercream that's like another thing that makes your business harder is when you just like give clients like this whole list of things that they're looking at it and they're going like what so what flavor what flavor of cake goes good with what flavor of filling um and i know that a lot of people like to do things differently but in my opinion what's worked for me is i'll just give you like this is the cake i'm offering like a fruity pebble cake and i'll describe it like it's a fruity pebble actual cake and it has fruity pebble buttercream with vanilla buttercream on the outside like i don't give you a choice to change filling unless you want to pay extra and change the filling because if you leave it up to somebody to put a cake together You're like i can't even put a cake together in my head like what would i do like put a strawberry cake with peach strawberry peach jam or whatever I don't know that's that part is just very confusing um, let's move on so she says oh earlier you said a hundred dollars or did I understand wrong so when she first uh, messaged me uh, in the beginning earlier in the conversation I remember and we saw that I said a hundred dollars for both the whole sheet and the smash cake and I didn't know what I was doing as far as pricing. So I said, yeah, $100 for everything. But then when I got home and I started doing the math and I started thinking like, oh, I don't have these cake pans. I don't have like boxes. I don't have um, cake boards that size. I don't have anything. So in my head, I was like, let me just upcharge her like the $50. And I didn't think she was going to notice. But obviously, girl, if you're playing with my money and if you're charging me a certain amount of money, and you're quoting me for something i'm gonna remember but at the time I, I didn't think she was gonna remember i guess but then i say oh and this is so crazy like i said yes a hundred dollars oh my god i didn't even notice that i wrote 150 i'm so sorry my keyboard is set in english and i was typing too fast girl and then I write back, because she wasn't responding, so I write back, I was like, no girl, $100 for the smash cake and the sheet cake. That was my mistake, Eloa. So she doesn't respond to me until like later that day or the next day, I think. And it seems like there's like a few pieces of the conversation missing because the next time she writes me back is like December the 11th. Or I don't know if maybe I was texting her like at this point. But oh, Okay, so here it is. So it says, um, it's okay, lol, I was, I was, oh, oh, maybe I understood, I misunderstood, let me look over the flavors, and I'll send them to you, and do you need me to give you a deposit? And then she writes, can I get two flavors? And this is exactly what I mentioned earlier. Um, since I opened the floodgates of, like, this big list of flavors as far as, like, cake and filling, now you're opening up the flavor... <laughs> not the flavor but you're opening up the choice of her thinking that she can get more than two flavors um, later on I started doing like this clause in my contract saying like if you wanted another flavor that was an extra charge because that's batter or that's ingredients that is different from what you're doing and some of these recipes um, are not as easily doubled or like let's say that a recipe calls for five eggs if you do half of the recipe girl how are you gonna measure half of an egg like two and a half eggs unless you buy two large eggs and one small egg so that's that's what you need to consider when like having these conversations with clients and giving them options so she goes can i have two flavors 
and I say whatever that face is. I usually require half down or you can just pay me the day you pick up the order. No ma'am, like no. She was definitely like a great customer and she paid me but you would never tell somebody that they can pay you the day they pick up their order because what if they don't go? What if they don't show up to pick up the order? Um, and, this, and then I say yes, you can get two flavors. Biggest mistake in my life. And then I go, if you don't see a flavor you like, let me know and I can definitely get a recipe for whatever flavor you want. That's another like huge, huge problem because now I hadn't tested the recipes that I was like, the flavors that I had given her options of. And now I'm telling her like, tell me whatever flavor you want and I'll find a recipe. And what if that recipe is uh, like built to work in a different altitude or with a different with different equipment or different eggs or different sugar? I don't know, but like so many things could have gone wrong by me just saying that. What if she had picked tres leches cake and I've never practiced tres leches cake? So, you know, problem, another problem there. Um, and then I, let's see, how many days passed after this? So then I like, thumbs up. So weird, like why did I do that? And then I, I say, good morning blank. Whenever you have time, let me know what flavors you chose for your cake. And then she says, I'm sorry, I thought I had, send them to you. I want strawberry with strawberry mousse filling and pineapple with pineapple filling, which she actually picked flavors that were pretty e easy. And for the strawberry mousse filling guys, I'm gonna be super honest with you. Like, um, if any of you shop at HEB or have ever, I, I think they probably have them anywhere, but there's these like boxes of like instant mousse. That's what I used. Um, it was like instant strawberry mousse or something, and they have like a chocolate and a vanilla one. That's what I used. I didn't like sit there and like, I don't know. I don't even know how to make mousse from scratch, but anyway. <laughs> and then. I go, okay, I'll do one side strawberry and the other side pineapple. Uh, I'll send you the photos of progress with the cake um, so you can see it before you pick it up. And she says, okay, thanks. So then the night before, I'm like, okay, so I'm like, what's your baby's name? And then she goes, her name is blank. And then that night, so December 11th, 2015, I'm like, hey, how are you? Um, around what time do you want to pick up your cake tomorrow? Granted, let's look at the time. It's like December 11th, 2015 at 1024 p.m. How unprofessional of me to Facebook message her at that time. Like, I, I wouldn't even do that now, so. Anyway, let's move on. So these are supposed to be photos of the actual cake. I'll insert photos because I have them. I think this is just like because Facebook is, I don't know, archiving this for me and it's like from 2015. So I think they're like, let's just not download her photos. So I'll, you'll see photos. So then she says, I love it. Thanks. And I'm like, oh, that's so good. Like at what time do you want to pick up your cake? And she didn't respond until the next morning, which was the day that she needed the cake for, which is December the 12th. She said, how about 2.30, what's your address? So this is another thing that I want to stress. It's like when you're taking orders and when you make your contract or when you're making these like, uh, I don't know, transactions, make sure that you give yourself like a time frame from when you work because this is an actual job. Like when you quit and this is your full time job, um, you have to give yourself hours as if you were working at a bakery when you're doing it from home. So then I said, okay, give her my address. And then I give her like directions or whatever. And the conversation seems to end here. Okay, so my overall thoughts about this is that I committed so many like wrong things here, which first of all is like the professionalism between me and the client was a little bit weird. Like the way that I was having the conversation with her was a little bit weird. And I'm not saying not to be friendly to your customers, but I'm just saying like to draw a line of where you insert emojis. I know that sounds weird, but if I'm paying you good money 
and you're responding to me with emojis i think that's weird i don't know maybe that's just me but i just think that's weird um second of all is like changing your prices like that and then being like oh it's my keyboard i used to do that a lot like there's so many more conversations where i used to do that like i would give you a price and then if the person didn't respond which i don't even know if they wouldn't respond because they were busy or driving or taking a shower but subconsciously i was like oh my god they think it's too expensive let me pretend it was like an error on my part and i'll lower the price so that was mistake number two. So always believe in your pricing, stick to it. And if girl, you don't get that order, it's for a reason. So uh, mistake number three, I think it was like when I gave her all those like flavors, that's one thing that I learned over the years was like to actually hone down on my list of flavors. Like what do I want to offer um, and what can be interchanged like what what flavors can i mix and match to make sure that i don't have to buy like twenty thousand different cake ingredients and people are only ordering like strawberry and vanilla and chocolate you know whatever so make sure you have like a list of cakes and cake fillings that go together and if girl if you know how to do like um mousse from scratch like great but <laughs> I like don't offer things that you don't know how to do like uh, offering like chocolate mousse and strawberry mousse I didn't know how to do it. I used instant like mix and I'm not saying it's bad to use instant mix, but I Didn't even know how that instant mix existed. I just ran into it by like mere like chance So that saved me a lot of trouble um, Then another thing that I would say is probably like I mentioned this earlier like in another video but having like when somebody places an order and when they give you a deposit in that same like message in that same phone call in that same email like when is the pickup when is the party what time are you picking up or what time am I delivering so that when it comes time to the actual event you're not having to contact your client and trying to get a hold of them because they're probably busy doing like party things or planning the party that they probably won't answer um, also another thing is like make sure you get your deposit girl because like oh you can just pay me when you pick up the cake no because what if she doesn't come you know what I mean so overall I made so many mistakes in this conversation alone um, I think I learned from my mistakes I learned from every single order that I got throughout the years um, obviously I think it's a process like when you're beginning you're gonna make a lot of mistakes you're gonna do things like I did and then you're gonna read them back and you're gonna cringe and say like oh like what was I thinking but it's a part of learning like it's a part of growing professionally and in your craft and you'll learn um, this video was mostly like just for fun to show you guys like that I'm not perfect like nobody's perfect nobody is like super professional and like nobody is the best at anything that they do everybody starts from somewhere um so if this is your beginning if you've done this before let me know in the comments um if i missed pointing out anything let me know below or what do you think how should i have approached it have you ever had um a situation similar to this so definitely let me know in the comments Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to share my video with your friends because they might be going through this too. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and to hit the like button and I'll see you next time. Bye.